Hi friends, this is Slidehan for you. Slidehan provides free video tutorials on C, C++ and data structure. To visit my channel, type www.youtube.com slash Slidehan. Ok, let's back to our topic. In this tutorial, I'm gonna introduce you a new data structure and most widely used in computer science is called tree. So far in this course, we have discussed different data structures such as array, linked list, stack, and queue. All of these are linear data structure. Linear means elements are stored in memory in a sequence. To store different kinds of data, we use different data structure. Here we will introduce you a nonlinear data structure called tree. Tree is mainly used to represent data containing a hierarchical relationship between elements. For example, here I am gonna show you a tree of subjects. And it looks something like this. Subjects divided into two categories science and arts. Then science has three branches biology, physics and chemistry. Arts has two branches geography and history. Biology further divided into two branches geology and botany. Here root is at top and branches are at downward direction. If you compare this with a natural tree you can see it is completely opposite. In a natural tree, root at lower position and branches at upward direction. If we rotate a natural tree 180 degree, then these two are look same. Root at top and branches are at downward direction. Next we will learn how to define a tree. This is the graphical representation of a tree. A tree can be defined as a collection of entities called nodes and the links between the nodes called edges. Here this circle represents nodes and these arrows are called edges or links. Here links are one direction from upward to downward. We can't proceed from downward to upward direction. Each node of the tree contains some data and this data can be of any type, integer, character, string, etc. Now I am going to define some terms that are frequently used with tree data structure. First one is root. The topmost node of the tree is called root. For this example, A is called root node. Each node contains the link of other nodes called children of that node. Here A contains the links of B and C. So B and C are the children of A. Now node B has three children D, E and F. Now see here A's child is B and B's children are D, E and F. So we can say D, E and F are the grandchild of A. Similarly we can also say A is the grandparent of D, E and F. It's just like a family relationship. You can see here B is the child of A and parent of D, E and F and grandparent of I and J. Next one is sibling. Children of same parent are called sibling. Here D, E and F are sibling because they are the child of B. Similarly, G and H are sibling, I and J are sibling and B and C are sibling. Now the question is are F and G a sibling? No, because F's parent is B and G's parent is C. Their parents are different, so they are not sibling. But you can see here, their grandparent is same. So we can say they are cousin. Next one is leaf node or external node. The node which has no children called leaf node or external node. Here E, F, G, H, I and J are leaf node because they have no children. All the other nodes that have at least one child is called internal node. For example B, C and D. 
next one is if we go from any node m to n then m is called ancestor of n and n is called descendant of m for example if we go from a to e then a and b are ancestor of e and e is called descendant of a and b okay next we will learn some properties of tree we know a tree is a linear data structure which has a distinguished node called root and all the remaining nodes form disjoint binary trees called subtree for this example a is root and the remaining nodes form two subtrees this is called left subtree and this is called right subtree number 2 is a tree with n nodes has n minus 1 edges let's check for this tree first count number of nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so total number of nodes equal to 10 now count edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 and 9 so total number of edges equal to 9 which is one less than the nodes so we can say a tree with n nodes has n minus 1 edges number 3 is level each node in a tree is assigned a level number the root node of the tree is assigned a level number 0 and every other node is assigned a level number which is one more than the level number of its parent now see here a is the parent of b and c and a's level number is 0 so b and c's level number will be 1 then level number 2 and then level number 3 next we will learn about depth and height depth of a node is defined as the length of path from root to that node Here each edge is considered as one unit. So depth of a node is the number of edges from root to that node whose depth we want to find. If we consider the node D, then root to D has two edges. So depth of D is two, and depth of root node is zero. Next one is height. Height of a node is defined as longest path from a node x to a leaf node if we consider the node d then you can see here there is only one path or one edge from d to leaf node so the height of d is 1 height of leaf node is 0 next we find the height of root node first we need to find the longest path from root to leaf node and the path is this this path has three edges so height of root node is 3 now what is the height of a tree height of a tree is the height of the root node so the height of this tree is 3 okay trees are classified into different categories a simple and most commonly used tree in computer science is called binary tree a tree with at most two children called binary tree for this example node b has three children so this is not a binary tree but if we delete the node e now you can see here all the nodes of this tree has at most two children now we can call it as a binary tree here i just give you a short description of binary tree Next tutorial we will learn about binarity in details. Next we will learn some application of tree data structure. First one is representing hierarchical data. For example, file system. A file or folder is stored in your hard disk in form of tree. For example, here we provide a path name for the file abc.txt. This file is stored in D drive inside the folder book. If we want to open this file, first we have to go D drive, then open the folder book and then double click on this file abcd.txt. Second one is tree data structure is used to store data 
that makes it efficiently searchable. For example, binary search tree. Here we give you a short introduction about binary tree. Next few tutorials we will learn about binary tree in details. Tree data structure is also used in network routing algorithm. This is it. Hope you enjoy this video. If this video helps you, please share it with your friends and click on the like button on YouTube. I will be back with another tutorial. Till then, you take care.